bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hot Beer Reviews. Jeff is to my left, your right. Scott is to my right, your left. Very good. Mr. Freeze is with a a dark can of beer from the Bissell Brothers out of Portland, Maine. Black. The can is black. What do we have? It is Bissell Brothers from Portland, Maine. Swish. Swish. They call <coughs> it they call it an ale. It's really I call it a double IVA. It's a double. And it seems like most of their cans just say that it's an ale. Um, donated by our great beer donator Steve, Steve Rawson. Rawson. Thanks Steve. Again. Steve brought these over for me uh, a couple days ago. Not really appreciate it. Well for us. Ah. For us. Uh, this is an 8% double IPA. It contains Mosaic, Citra, and Simcoe. All of our favorites. Very much so. Only available from October excuse me, October <laughs> to April. It's that bacon popcorn. I think it is. Uh so we'll see how it is. Yes. I had this on draft at Bissell. They did not have cans that day. I have heard, I don't know if this is still true, that there is an early opening when they have swish on uh, on sale for cans because there's a high demand for them. I'm assuming that must be, <coughs> um, you know, when they start offering them or at the end of the run. <coughs> oh gosh. I don't know, I'm gonna make it. I'm having trouble then. Are you having a hop overload? No, I think I got a piece of bacon in my throat. <laughs> in your throat? Yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, we like to put videos on YouTube. At if you'd like to watch them, you can subscribe down below over here. There's like a little hop symbol, and then click the bell so you know when we go live. Stay in your space. And when we have new videos, I'm sorry, I crossed the invisible marker there Jesus. I've been featuring hockey jerseys that I have on the last few reviews I hope you guys like them uh, if you don't too bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got uh, a little bit of a little bit of haze <coughs> a little, a little un uh, unclear yeah. definitely um, goldenish um, not too much head going on there and it's going away plenty of haze you pretty can't fast see. Uh, medium to small bubbles and um, large no no large I lied. It looks like a beer that we would probably enjoy. Woo! Smells delicious. Oh, oh yeah. Fruity. <coughs> oh, sorry, too oh, much popcorn. Are you turning to a zombie? Oh, yeah. All right. It's got tons of uh, earthy, piney. Yeah. I think like citrusy. We love Simcoe. It's a Simflo, Simflo, Simco influence. Yeah. You can call it the Simflo. Oh, it smells good. Let's drink it. That was. You yeah, gonna sneeze? I can see. No, it. no, no sneezing. I was just asking if we should tell the wives it's just the Simflo. <laughs> no, they won't appreciate it. Hmm. It's really good. <laughs> a little earthy at the end. Yeah, almost like candied sweetness. Like uh, like a fry, freshly dried candied mango. No. I, I don't know. Like <laughs> It's hard to describe. It's like a... This to me is a great blend between a New England style IPA and, and a, you're gonna go there. What we call our traditional IPA. Yes. Yeah. Don't you think it's? Uh, it reminds me of, of a little bit of both styles. Yeah. Um, it, it's really good. It is. It's malty. It's tough to describe. It's just it's a juicy. lot of different things. Juicy, but not like those. A lot of the beers now that, that you're over like a glass of an orange juice. Right. That you would just have for breakfast. Right. Uh, this is more like a brunch. 
Yeah, and every way around is doing that. It's a brunch beer. No. Weighing in eight percent. Yeah. Oh, mm. it's good. That's um. I don't want to say it's not quite apricot peaches, like right, right peaches or something. Not it's peaches. Some kind of stone fruit thing. I'm not great with fruit. It's just damn good. I don't know. I don't know if it's stone fruit. Could be. I know what you're saying. Yeah, maybe. Um, but it leads right into that earthy pine. You know what we need to do one time? We'll have like, we'll go get some stone fruits and we'll put baskets out. That's true. We should do like a fruit tasting so then we'll be better able to identify fruits. Mm hmm. And just saying, like, oh, that's like some kind of fruit. All right, what's your score on this? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're getting away from away from what we're doing. Uh, four three. Woo right. woo! I am a four five. Uh. Our team score, because we are a review team, as opposed to those who do it but on their own. We're a four four. Swish is going to be a 4.53 on Untapped. That's my guess. It's a highly... You're a douche. Highly... <laughs> uh, 8% alcohol, 80 IBUs according to Untapped. Four friends have rated it. Yeah. Oh, French Rose Bear Reviews, 4.5. Huh. I had it there. Okay. Undraft. What date was that? Oh, uh, that was... About six months ago, maybe? Close enough. And I rated it the exact same today. Patty Big D gave it a four and a half. Yeah. Patty Big D. Twice. Okay. Johnny Big D gave it a four seven five. Alright. Twice. That's it. Alright. But more important not more importantly, that's not right to say. No. But slightly. Uh twenty nine thousand other people. Quite a few. 4.54. You said 4.53. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a handle on how these people are rating beers. Yeah, because you look at it. No! You must. Never. No. I would never sacrifice the integrity of the show. Okay. It means a lot to me. I hope so. And it also means a lot to all the new subscribers we have recently. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we have meeting a lot of you guys signing up for a change instead of just watching us in the shadows. It's great. We like it. Um, we appreciate all the views, all the comments. Oh, I really love the people. Though. Like but, but, it. <laughs> ask questions. And if you've had a beer, tell us what your rating is. We, we like to, to yeah, know. Out of five. It. Don't use all these goofy numbers. Out yeah, of 75. Not out of 100. And, and, no. Un untapped is the way to go. Well, for us, to a point. Yes. I mean, you can give us your four seven three if you want. Yeah, but explain it. Stop having a quarter of a point rating. Yeah. Sometimes we are we are so precise, fine tuned with our tastings that that we can get it down to a, a one hundredth of a point. Did you remember in high school? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for, for checking us out. We really do. We really do appreciate it. We do. Jeff and I are going to drink beers no matter what. But it's more fun to share it with you guys and, and to hear back from you. And I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get invited over as much if we didn't do this. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Thank you. See you next time on French Holes Bear Reviews. Have a great night. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hawks.